Welcome back to the post-apocalyptic classroom. I wanted to give you a little update. I won't be doing too much work in this video, but I wanted to show you that we're pretty much done the, the, uh, the modeling for this. So what I've done is I've created some blinds over here and I've broken them up pretty good. I'm not sure if I actually want to keep those or not. We'll see. There will be uh, damage in terms of uh, broken glass and hanging windows and you know a, a lot of disarray in the room I've already done some of that obviously with the uh, with the ceiling tiles and with these wires which I'm also not certain that I actually want to keep uh, so we're going to we're going to see how it goes um, there's certainly the desks will not be like this they'll be turned upside down and on their sides and some of them will have the legs broken off and same with the chairs um, I've gone ahead and I've done a very simple door here there's really nothing to this um, so I, I that's why I didn't I didn't do it on video I've got a little simple door frame here and uh, I've still got the books the way they were so yeah there will be a lot of, of disarray in the room and I've also created just a few pieces of paper here I just did them on the front teacher's desk but I'll have them all around uh, the floor I've got one that's bent this way bent this way and you know with a couple of cuts out and crumpled up a little bit and there may be other things there may be cans and there may be leaves uh, we'll see what's what's going to happen with that another thing that I've done is in preparing to texture this uh, I've applied the solidify modifier on all of the walls and I've pulled the vertices here so that they're, uh, um, you know, uh, snapped to the edges so that just to help prevent light. Of course, I've also got this piece here as well. And I have to just finish that one. But uh, just so to help prevent the light from from leaking in. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how see how all that goes. We'll have to, I'll have to actually pull out the sides of... Uh, of the the ceiling as well so i'll do that before before we get to the render stage but um i'm going to say that we are pretty much ready to start with the texturing and i'll be doing that in the next video uh start texturing the walls probably first and then i will what i think i will do is i will get rid of the arrays of that and i'll do one desk and i'll texture it and then i'll you know break it apart and put the pieces here and there and i'll do one globe and uh you know one bookcase etc um, one other thing i did is just on the chalkboard i just i just pushed that in and created this little angled piece in order to make the the part where you put the chalk brush in the and the chalk so that is the modeling for this and then we'll get into uh, texturing this one other thing I've been asked a number of times about my um, thumbnails and, and the images I've posted on the discord like how I did that how I rendered with that and it's really not a render and you can't really do it unless you have two pieces of software one which is easy which is GIMP and uh, or Photoshop and the other one is is a, a, a photography uh, piece of software so I'll just really quickly show you that so like Let's say I wanted to take a, you know, I took this as an image and uh, I just, what I do is I just take a screenshot. So I'll just press uh, print screen and then I generally open up GIMP and it's not the new version of GIMP or anything, just anything, control V. I'll paste that in and then I'm going to just grab some of this let's say i'll go across to there and i'll crop that all right so now i've got that now at that point you know you can do a lot of different things in gimp that would make it look good i'm going to just do an unsharp yeah i'll just use that okay so we've got that and then uh i sometimes i i colorize it a little bit for example i'll just do a little bit of this and I will often use curves and just bring up there and down there a little bit. So a bit of an S curve. And then I'll export that. 
and I'll just call this video not JPEG. I do it as a JPEG. I don't care if it's you know going to lose some of its resolution. So I'll do that. And then I use a software called Topaz Studio 2, which is for photography. And I'll open up the image. So that's that's what I had in GIMP. All right, and then I'll add this. You can add looks. And uh, here I, I tend to usually do two things, at least for this series. So I'll show you them. And I know it's this isn't rele relevant to most people, but if you're into photography and you wanted this, this is, fantastic software for editing your photos I mean I would use this over um, I would use it over Lightroom although I've used Lightroom and and I certainly would use it over Photoshop just because okay I'll, I tend to add this city flare which I think is neat because it adds these little glints of light which I think look really neat so I'll, you just decide how much it I'll, I'll apply and then I add this liquid color too. You could use liquid color one or two, watch that. And that just kind of makes it almost cartoony. It makes the lines flow together a little bit more. I'll add that, that already looks kind of cool. I'm just gonna exaggerate it a little bit so you can see it. And then I add one more look and I'll come over here to dramatic, this dramatic black. And that's that's the effect right there that that I'm getting. All right, so that's that's how I've been, doing that here I'll just export that now and I'll find it uh, no, this one and that's what I get out of that and so it's it's a screenshot as you can tell that's just post-processed a bit to give that sort of black and white kind of look all right so I am going to prepare to start texturing and I think we'll probably start on on this wall or perhaps this wall we'll see and uh, we're going to be doing that in substance painter texturing going back into blender messing around back to texturing etc etc as we work through this post-apocalyptic classroom a couple of other very quick updates um, the blender challenge musical instrument is now over and the renders are posted on the zero bio discord in the renders channel i'll be grabbing those and putting together a render review video uh, shortly on that within the next couple of days and uh, there was something else but it's uh, slipped my mind so uh, we'll get back to that uh, sometime soon so uh, as always i appreciate you coming by the channel thank you so much please subscribe and like the videos i know there's not much in this video but we're going to get into some uh, texturing uh, very soon it's going to be a little bit different it's it's it still will be procedural but we're going to be doing a bit more painting and uh, trying to get this to look uh, something like uh, the uh, the kind of uh, indoor images you'd seen in the last of us where they've got the really grunged up walls and I'll show you how to uh, how to achieve a look similar to that Okay, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we'll get into texturing. Take care.